Ahoy there, ladies and gentlemen. Mel greetings, good day, and welcome to the vast waters of the deep blue sea, you scurvy scalawags, squabs, and landlubbers. Arr, I could sure go for a bottle of rum right now, but alas, such fortunes be no fortunes of mine today. There be all manner of queer beasties in this hold, and I swears the sneaky build shreds behind this here mess will all swing for sure. Indeed, they shall be brought low before the great Captain Cookie. Uh, wait a second, what was that? Oh, I am uh, not actually the captain, just... Food? For them, I am supposed to be the food. Oh dear, well I should have known. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, sweet torment awaits, delightful. Without further ado, beware, a word of warning. You are now entering the terrifying world of Let's Play Monstrum. A first-person survival horror game released back in 2015 by the developer known as Team Junkfish. So, what is the premise? I hear you ask. Well, our premise, it happens to be a rather simplistic premise. We are pretty much just an average Joe, one of many, aboard a large cargo vessel, shipping goods across the ocean back and forth. The work can be a little tedious sometimes, however, it certainly is a living, good money, so why complain, right? <laughs> I'd feel inclined to agree, if it wasn't for the bothersome fact that the unexpected, a worst case scenario if you will, decided to occur. Indeed, our humble protagonist, he chose to take a nap, but is soon awakened by a loud noise in the distance, only to realize that his memories are gone completely. Where am I? He thinks. To make matters even worse, it seems, the whole crew has disappeared as well. Instead of them, a ghastly abomination now stalks the empty halls of the ship. Where did it come from? A good question, though it isn't really important, for all we care about anymore is to escape before it is too late. So, do you have what it takes, is the question, or are you just prey in this deadly game of cat and mouse? Let us find out, shall we, one and all? Let us find out together. Well then, here are a couple of things that I am aware of. The interior of the ship is never the same, always shifting shapes with every run. Its items are also in different locations each time, thus making it more difficult to escape. There are three methods in total to get off the vessel, as well as three unique monsters. Each has a unique pattern of behavior, some prefer brute force, others love to stalk the protagonist silently. We must use whatever we can find to try and outwit our pursuers, because death is death. Getting killed means you'll be starting again, probably in a different ship, with a different monstrosity. And that would be... All time to get started. Thus, the survival horror begins. So, where am I? Some kind of small chamber, it seems. A restroom of sorts, indeed. Well, this isn't really the most clean of restrooms I've ever seen, but does it really matter? No, considering that I am not the only one aboard this ship. Oh dear, the noises. I am starting to dislike the noises already of this old vessel creaking, falling apart. Ah, this is kind of an intriguing experience because I can't really allow myself to linger all that much because it is out there. You should never forget 
It'll always be out there, moving about, not waiting patiently. That probably happens to be the main reason why I felt... What was that? I hear that. Oh god, I don't even want to leave this room. How am I even supposed to leave it? Press F to open the door. Do I really want to? Um... Hello? Somebody out there? What was I about to say? Ah yes, the main reason why I decided to play this game. It greatly intrigues me, the fact that the monsters are not really scripted in any way. They can do whatever they want, whenever they want. Just like for example, the Alien, the Xenomorph in Alien Isolation. That game scared the hell out of me, because the Alien was so damn unpredictable. And this game, it is the same story all over again. What are the monsters gonna do? How are they gonna behave? I've got no idea. <sighs> but I must get off the ship. I doubt I'll succeed this first time though. Let us just try and find out how far I can make it. So... What is this? A locker? Oh my god, there's a passageway beyond the locker. So I assume my protagonist, he shoved the lockers in front of the door to hide. Is there anything else in here? Uh, you can probably see some jerky camera movement, ladies and gentlemen. That would be because my hands, they are shaking. This is the first time, uh, my first time playing Monstrum. And I've been looking forward to the day, but I've also been dreading the day. Time to man up. Come on, Cookie, you can do this. I am the master of horror. I am undefeated. Why has this mirror been shattered? How old is this ship, I wonder? Can I open this curtain? No, I can't, unfortunate. Well then, here it goes. Wish me luck, one and all. Oh god. Do I have to? Careful now. Where am I? Just some random room inside of the ship somewhere. And apparently this is a one-way chamber. Only a single door to get in and to get out. What must I do? Oh god. Oh my god. The pacing. My pacing. It's so very slow, I am never gonna survive. Oh god. What to do, what to do? Turn on the lights, can I turn it on? I can turn on the lamp, delightful. Though, this might tell the monster that I've been here. I don't think I should leave this turned on. Oh god. I still need to mess a little with the sound and brightness settings, because I want to be able to get the best experience possible. This is just kind of a test run, you could say. I'm just gonna plunge myself into the waters to see how deep they happen to be. Press left control and move forward to hide under the bed. I can hide under the bed, eh? Good to know. Like this. Press F to move backwards and stop hiding. Oh my god, this is so creepy. So damn creepy. I feel like this is just kind of the tutorial section of Monstrum. And as soon as I leave it, all hell is gonna break loose. They will tear me to pieces. Why can't I remember who I am? Why am I aboard this vessel? And why is there a monster? Hunting me down. Well, I can do this. What have we here? Press F to pick up the note. I found a note, it seems. So oh my. Press C to read. Ah, objectives and notes. So this happens to be note number 10. Chekhov and Wilson. I think something's gone seriously wrong. I haven't seen another pair in hours. They went to investigate the engine, 
but no one's come back. There's definitely a fire. I can smell them burning. I don't want to make any noise by banging the door. I heard Fred yelling, and then he just cut off. If you wake up and find this, I am making for the port side balcony to use the life raft. I am leaving. I know you're sick, but we have to get off this ship. If you arrive in the next hour, I'll be waiting. Alice. I see. So I was sick, and for some reason, I lost my memory. And while I was asleep, something decided to happen, and now, I am all alone, and they are gone. Oh god, couldn't you have, like, carried me? Was it really that urgent to leave? Was it necessary to abandon your fellow comrades? Oh dear. What have we here? Oh my, press F to pick up the torch. Don't you mean flashlight? <laughs> nah, just kidding. I am quite familiar with the British term. Gonna pick up the torch. There. Ah, I've got an inventory, it seems. Press left click to turn it on. There. That should help. Indeed it should. What else? We've got random pictures and also some file cabinets. Let's see. Anything of use inside? Ah, what have we here? Is that like a lighter? Looks like a lighter. Ah, I think I... Indeed, I picked up a lighter. Interesting. What am I gonna use this for? I have a feeling that I'll not even be able to get out of this room because I am talking so much just taking in the scenery and the tutorial. By the time I am done, the monster will probably have found me. And I am still shaking. Oh god, my own footsteps, they just freaked me out. <sighs> Calm down. Anything else? No. Another note, it seems. What have we here? Note? Oh dear. Number 10 again. Is this just the same note? Apparently, so in case you missed the one on the bottom, you can... What was that? I hear that. And I think I can see a light flickering beyond the door. <laughs> What was that? What the hell was that? Oh my god, I am feeling so freaked out. Oh my god. The last time I felt this freaked out, right from the get-go, it was the indie game Vanish. I still need to complete that game someday, my unfinished project. But can I be man enough to pull it off? So, that note. Where did I find it? On the bottom of this room. Sounds so weird, the bottom. I could say the ground, of course, on the floor. And here we've got... a fuse. Now why would I have any need for this? A fuse? I assume I can insert it somewhere to uh, maybe activate a mechanism? And this is... a record player. Why would I want to play a record? To make some noise? To attract the creatures? No, that wouldn't be a good idea, but perhaps to distract them. Oh god, beyond this door, the horrors await. Beyond this door... Is this like a light switch? It is. Oh my, I can turn on the lights, not a good idea. Hmm, I feel like I should probably decrease the brightness some, because, well, you can of course see everything, which is lovely. But I am kind of missing the tense atmosphere. Not that it isn't tense enough already, but some darkness would be delightful. I don't want to open this door. I seriously don't want to, ladies and gentlemen. Do you understand what I am talking about? Can you lock the door? You can. And by locking the door, I can buy myself some extra time, some precious additional seconds of safety. <sighs> Fine. I'll do it. Oh god, why did I choose to let's play this, of all the horror games out there? 
Well, this is certainly an inviting sight to behold. A long corridor of endless infinity. Hold left shift to run. Oh god. Oh my god, what floor am I on? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Did you hear that? What was that? I am just gonna die. <laughs> oh god. Be a little... Oh no. In here. Yes, indeed, in here. So, this is the recreation room. Are there any hiding spots in here? Not really. I think I am gonna... Yeah. Gonna turn off the lights, first and foremost. Oh god, this room, it has two doors. I am not liking that. Where am I? What floor is this? Some more records and cards. A few books. I might be able to hide underneath the desk. Here we've got... Oh no. A cup on top of this desk. I heard something. I keep hearing things. And I've only just begun. This is truly, truly dreadful. Because, as far as I've seen, this vessel is huge. It has like, I think, four, maybe even five floors. It has like... <gasps> that didn't sound good. That didn't sound good at all. It's probably a mistake to just stay here. To try and wait for it to leave. Oh god, what is that? The lights are flickering. The lights just started flickering, why? Why are they flickering? I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. Oh god, what is that? Do you see that? The lights are randomly flickering, but why? Just like a malfunction? A power outage of sorts? Well, I did read something about the engines being on fire, so maybe this ship is really falling apart. Oh god, how am I supposed to get used to the layout of this ship? If it is so huge and randomly generated partially each time? I hear it. There are like the upper floors, the lower floors, or decks, you've got the cargo bay and everything. Oh god. The lights are flickering, but I can't hear any footsteps. So maybe the monster, whatever it is, isn't around. Though I did mention, some of the monsters, they prefer a silent approach. So, I should never feel safe. Alright, I think I am just gonna try and move on. Perhaps I should sneak a little. That might be a good idea. Hello? I hear that. <laughs> What was that? Oh my god. Did you see that? Up there? Like, the ceiling. I think it was a security camera of sorts? And it started making some noise. I think I actually read about that. This ship, it has countless cameras. And if you dare to stand in front of a camera for too long, an alarm will sound. And that alarm, it is gonna attract the monster immediately. So, why? Why are the lights flickering? I am not liking it. Well, so far we've seen, like, three rooms. I'd say we are making good progress. Oh my god. In the beginning, I just wanted to... Well, I wanted to walk about and... You know, take in the surroundings a little, but... but not anymore. I also thought to myself, what will this Let's Play actually consist of? Well, I thought maybe I am gonna try to reach and escape with all of the escape vehicles. Oh my god, no. But... considering 
what I've experienced thus far, maybe one would be enough. Because I do believe it'll be not easy. It'll be not easy at all. Even a single one is gonna take me forever. So do I really want to put in the extra time, try to escape with all three? <gasps> what? I feel so trapped right now, I can't leave this damn room. The lights keep flickering. Maybe... maybe I can try to sneak past the camera. Where is it? <gasps> what? No. No. I hear that. What is that? <gasps> oh god! What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Am I dead? Am I dead? Am I dead? Am I dead? Am I fucking dead? Am I dead? Am I dead? What is that? What is that? What the fuck is that? Oh my god. Well, it seems we've encountered the first monstrosity of the game, ladies and gentlemen. And am I to assume that whenever that creature is around, the lights will start to flicker? That would be good to know. So no wonder I am not hearing any footsteps. That fucking thing, whatever it was, some kind of demon, it floats. It's not making any noise whatsoever. That is actually quite creative, I like that. So you need to watch out for the lights. Uh, this music wasn't there before. Is this like the theme of that fiend? Perhaps. So I don't think I am safe yet. I am not safe, not at all. I hear you. You are certainly out there. Oh my god, that's back. Do you see that? It's back. Just try to stay calm. Stay the fuck calm. And everything. Calmness is important right now. How am I supposed to get away from this room? The recreation hall is gonna turn into my grave. It can't be that difficult. I just need to be... I need to be brave, goddammit. I can just hide all day long, but that isn't gonna change a thing. You can do that in most horror games, and you'll just starve to death or something. I don't know anything about this monster. Is it intelligent? Or is it stupid? Does it know that I am here? Is it just waiting? Oh god. Oh my god. It is over there. I know that much. It is over there. So I should try to head towards that direction. If only I could distract it somehow. Well, I guess I could try to throw that cup. Maybe that would help. I mean, I still have some inventory spaces. Where is it? The lights, they keep flickering. Flickering to no end. God damn it. Be gone. Away with you. There. I think I have it. Yes, I grabbed the cup. And I think I can throw this cup. But I need to throw it strategically if I want to stay a chance. That thing. It looked like some kind of alien or demon. I thought we were dealing with ordinary monsters here, not fucking visitors from the great unknown out there. There's the camera.
No. No, 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 no. Oh, this is a dead end. This is a damn dead end. Is there anything in here? Anything I can use at all? Watch out for the lights. Those are important. When they start flickering, you need to hide. Nothing. Just cans and boxes. Anything here? Is that like a wrench? Can I pick it up? I don't think so. No. Not much of anything in here. Can't open those. Just a hiding place. <gasps> oh no. Careful. There's something in here. What is that? I picked something up. And it is a glow stick. Why a glow stick? Can the flashlight actually run out of juice? I wouldn't appreciate that much. Please don't let this be one of the horror cliches nowadays. One of those horror cliches, I mean, nowadays that the flashlight cannot... Well, it cannot survive for long because the batteries, they get used up so fast. <gasps> oh god! I think it is there. Oh, what am I to do? I'll never get off the vessel like this. Stay calm. Just try to stay calm. What I've noticed thus far, the game isn't optimized perfectly. I should probably bring that up because it likes to lag every now and then. Sometimes the frame rate it just kind of drops. I think when the monster is around as well. But I can live with that. This game it wasn't made by a huge studio, a huge developer, therefore they shall be forgiven. <sighs> but also an eternal curse upon the team Junkfish for making me endure this. I hear you. I hear you, indeed I do. I don't want to leave this room. I don't feel safe. <laughs> I don't. I just don't feel safe at all. Oh god. I see that. Oh god, oh god, no, no, no. Oh god, this is really bad. This is really fucking bad. It's there. It's there. Oh my god, it's gonna kill me. There are no hiding... hiding spots in here. So this might be the kitchen. But what now? What's gonna happen next? I know you are there. How smart are you? If it enters the room from that side, I should be dead. Because I don't think it is gonna be that stupid. It's gonna see me. Oh god, it's definitely gonna see me. <laughs> Alright. The lights are back to normal? No, not yet. Not yet. I am really starting to hate this creature because I cannot hear it. I'd prefer some footsteps. But no, of course they have to throw this fucking thing at me. My first time. And it is probably the most intelligent, the most devious of the bunch. Can I dare to examine the room? Here we've got a bottle, another cup, but nothing of value. Can't open that. Just some parts. Ah, nothing. Absolutely nothing.
God damn it. I totally forgot about the lights. It would have found me, definitely. I am not liking this. I don't think I am ready. I am not feeling brave enough. Nope. Oh dear. Oh no. No, 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 no. Those goddamn cameras, I swear to God. It's over there. The lights are flickering. This is bad. Oh god, oh my god, what did I do? Don't lock me out, you damn thing. Stupid, stupid door. And there. I think... I should probably hide. No, 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 not yet. Come on, find something of worth. There's a note. But I don't have time to read notes right now. Can I open the lockers? I can. I can probably hide inside of those as well. Anything? Is there anything I can use? Another bottle. Yeah, I'm just gonna take that note. Oh god. This is bad. Just stay calm. Stay calm, everything is gonna be alright. It doesn't know that you are here. It doesn't. The lights are flickering, but it's okay. That weird... abomination. It will not find you. It will not kill you. So, did I find a new one? Indeed I did. Note number two. Um, Brody. I checked up on the serial number, and you're right. It doesn't exist. However, I was able to find the sender, Mr. S. Kobayashi. I wondered why he was traveling with us. It would seem he's brought a new... Uh, he's bought a new residence in L.A. and figured he could use his own boat as free transportation. I guess if you want to know what's inside, you can ask him. I like my job too much. Good night. Signed, Larry. So a uh, Mr... Kobayashi was traveling with us. I guess if you want to know what's inside, you can ask him. Inside of what? A cargo container? Did he bring these abominations aboard? Is this mess his fault? And now he is probably dead. Some illegal cargo. Where the hell did he find those creatures? Did he make them? Did he discover them somewhere? Are they experiments? Did he unearth them from the dark corners of our world? I don't know. I guess we'll never find out the truth, but now it is here. And I am the victim. I am the prey. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we might need to call it a day here. We might need to. Because this is way too tense. Way too bloody tense. I don't even know whether or not the game saves your progress. I don't. Could be that next time we start it up, we'll be back at the beginning. And that would, of course, greatly increase the difficulty. <sighs> but I don't know. Are there save points? Or not? Does it save automatically? I suppose we could try to find out. Well then, back to the main menu. So, ladies and gentlemen, I actually chose to exit the game. And what do you know, there is no continue feature. You need to basically beat the game in one sitting and that is it. Apparently they never implemented a save feature, which is fine I guess, permadeath and all. But still, it would be kind of nice to continue your session where you left off. Oh well, I suppose this means next time it is going to be a new ship and probably a new monster as well. Oh dear, at least it keeps the variety alive, doesn't it? Therefore, thank you so very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. My name has been the Shadow Cookie, aka Cookie. Hope you enjoyed, and when we'll return with Let's Play.
monstrum, the horror, it continues. Until then, until then, have a good one. Oh dear, what have I gotten myself into?